Hey y'all, happy Thursday and welcome back to The Notorious Court Show. As you can see from this plethora of colors and patterns and prints and all that good stuff behind me, today we are going to be going over what? Some looks, boo. Some looks. Um, we're going to be transitioning our wardrobe from winter. Lord have mercy. It's been a long everything. That like spring forward lose an hour shit it, it it threw me off it threw sis off i am not catching up and it is it's it's been some days at this point and he who we are going to be transitioning our business casual wardrobes from winter to spring i'm going to show you how to get through those months where it's like i know we just sprung ahead but we ain't even we haven't really like sprung in the spring so it's like 40 degrees but sunny and it's like hot when you in the sun, but it's really 40 when you in the not sun, basically. Um, and it's nice, you know, it's, it's nice, it's shiny, it's booming, it's bright outside. So, you know, you just want to, you just want to look accordingly. You just want to dress the part, but you still want to be appropriate for work. You don't want to be boring, you don't want to be gloomy because it's a new season. We are popping out, okay? We are popping out. So... Stay tuned. Today I'm going to give you five looks and then, you know, we'll see how y'all feel and how I feel about how y'all feel and then I might get y'all a few more. <laughs> you feel me? Stay tuned. I wanted to play around with some patterns a bit um, because I've been seeing a lot of them on the runway. It's definitely trending mixing patterns. So um, I went with these pinstripe pants and a houndstooth blazer that I'm about to put on. Um, stripes and plaids to me are the easiest patterns to mix and match. Just make sure that the colors kind of balance one another out or pull from each other. So here you'll see I do the blue and white pant with the gray and like navy-ish um, jacket and then I balance it all out with my white top and these white booties. And then for this look, I wanted to do a little bit of color blocking, which is just like very spring. Um, trousers are from the limited RIP. And then I have a cropped blazer that I actually cropped myself. Crop top is optional. You can really just tuck it um, if you have a longer shirt or, you know, whatever silhouette you prefer. Um, but yeah, there's, there's not really a rule to color blocking. I feel like if you like the color combo, just go for it. And you can always balance it out. Again, white shirt, white booties, but yeah. I love the bold look. It's just like very like, hey, the sun is out, I'm here. And then for this look, I went with a cropped double-breasted blazer, a slim legging pant, and a thick turtleneck and some mules. Cause let's face it, it's almost spring, but it's still kind of cold outside. So y'all need to stop playing around and put on some damn clothes, um, especially on your way to work. But this is a very, very thin turtleneck. So, you know, it's not something that I'm going to overheat in. And then mules, I love that it's like half a shoe, half of a sandal, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I like the boxy effect of this jacket compared with the very skinny pant. And then again, for this look, wanted to do stripes and plaid. Um, I like the idea of this black and white, um, very thin pinstripe just with a bold pattern because I feel like because it's you know black and white those are the easiest neutrals to build from um, so you can kind of pair it with a busier pattern if you wanted to do say a floral or something of that nature as well and then obviously the black pants black shoes just kind of streamline the whole thing here we've got a wide leg pant with a boxy blazer that I'm about to put on now. Um, a lot of women for some reason don't like to do wide leg pants whether they're curvy or at the bottom or what but what I've noticed is that they just they very much just flatter your leg shape um, and just kind of highlight your curves without being too tight in unflattering places on your body but either way um, I like the proportions I usually don't like to do a wide bottom with a wide jacket but these proportions work because the pants high waist and I've got the shirt tucked in and then leopard is year round for this look here um, I honestly just took a otherwise fall slash winter look and swapped in a spring color bottom with the skirt um you could also do like a cream color pant but i feel like the skirt is a little bit more on the spring side and i like the idea of a skirt with a high boot because you don't know how high up the leg the boot goes um but yeah easy way to just transition if you haven't brought in your spring wardrobe yet and then here 
Um, so as far as spring goes, everybody thinks, you know, flowers. So that makes me think like something more flirty, a flirty silhouette. So I wanted to do this peplum blouse with a wide leg pant that's a little bit cropped. Um, but this is kind of a little bit more of a retro look, but um, it's feminine and flirty, but still really powerful. I think this is the perfect time to, you know, try out those bold colors because you could always bounce it out with black. And then lastly, I went with something kind of casual, um, but just like a long sleeve um, mock neck top and a jogger trouser with an oversized men's blazer that, you know, you can find something like this at a thrift store and then a slip on loafer. Um, Cause you know, you want something that's a little bit more easy going. This is perfect for like a casual Friday or just like, I don't really feel like being here cause it's nice outside. Okay y'all, so if you like this video, you like videos like these, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know that you wanna see more videos like this. You feel me? Because how I'ma know what y'all like if y'all tell me? I ain't just like, you know, we ain't we ain't in sync yet. Eventually we will be in sync, but right now we're not in sync. So you gotta let me know if you like these looks and if you want some more of them so that I can put them together for you. And you, and you, and you, and you, and them over there. Probably not them over there, but you. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. You know you got to do that extra. Hit that bell. Um, share this video with your friends because it's one thing for you to look good, but for your whole crew to look good, ain't nothing like a good group photo. You know those fly groups of friends where it's like, damn, they all fly. I don't even know who the fly is one. That's the group you want to be in. Don't be the shiner and you looking good and your friends looking like boo-boo the fool and doo doo the doo. That's not cute. Like, you look cute, but that's not cute. It, it, it tones down your aesthetic. It makes you look ugly. You look ugly because your friends look ugly. And that's unfortunate because I just helped you get dressed, boo. I just styled you. I just inspired you. Why would you want your friends to look ugly next to you? Taking down your, uh, what is it? They damn near taking down your, your credit score. But you 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 are now at a lower rate because you know it's it's like putting a it's like putting some some ugly ass rims on a bands. You supposed to help you supposed to help me shine, boo. Supposed to help me shine, friend. Basically, just share this video with your friends so they can get some inspiration as well. Um, if you are curious to see how I put looks like this together, especially business casual looks, make sure to tune. First of all, make sure to follow me on Instagram at the notorious core. Um, because I go live when I am putting together outfits, specifically on Sundays when I'm getting ready for the week, I put together outfits on my Instagram live and you can keep up with me, you know, follow me, follow me, follow me. And I'm gonna lead you to like, where the cute clothes at and where the cute hoes at <laughs> i don't share hoes so <clears throat> i really lost my train of thought but yes definitely follow me on instagram at the notorious court and you'll be able to keep up with my style my inspiration i also share a lot of my styling tips on wednesdays um, so if you follow me on Instagram, you will see those as well. And you know, turn on your notifications on Instagram because they be drop play, they be drop like a play. You can follow the hashtag TNC wardrobe, um, just to keep up, or you can just tune in every Wednesday, usually like around six or so PM and you know, see what I'm doing. Keep up with me so that you know, I could keep you looking good. You feel me? Yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. And I will see you next Thursday. Unless you're on my live. Then I will see you on Sunday. But either way, I'm going to see you again, boo. Bye.